and today I will explain you about the topic that is hydrogen energy. How we can use hydrogen gas as fuel. We also call, call this hydrogen energy as alternate future source of energy. Why we are calling this alternate future source of energy? So we have different reasons for this. First is, it is a renewable source of energy. Second, hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. In universe, hydrogen is about 93%. And the third point is, the calorific value of hydrogen is highest among different elements. What does it mean, highest calorific value? If we burn 1 gram of hydrogen, if we burn 1 gram of hydrogen, then we will get about 150 kilojoule of energy. And a calorific value means generation of energy per unit mass of the fuel. Now the question is that how we can extract hydrogen energy from the hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas se energy ko kaise extract kiya ja sakta hai. So here we have two approaches. First is by simple combustion. Combustion means sidha hydrogen ko fuel ki tarah sidha jala jaye. Example here we have is the simple combustion of hydrogen gas in internal combustion engines. Internal combustion engine for example petrol, diesel in that way hydrogen can be used as the fuel. Second option by fuel cell. So later on in upcoming lectures I will explain you in detail what are fuel cells. Here just try to understand in fuel cells hydrogen gas fuel cell is a device in which hydrogen gas can be converted into electrical energy. So this electrical energy again can be used for the electric vehicles different processes. So these are the extraction methods. Now production of hydrogen gas. How we can produce hydrogen gas? Hydrogen gas ko kaise produce kiya ja sakta hai? We have different laboratory methods for the production of hydrogen gas. First is from coal, natural gas or oil. Second from biomass. For example, ethanol. Why we are calling ethanol as biomass? Because ethanol is a byproduct of Fermentation that can be easily obtained from sugarcane, bagasse and so many other biomass products. Third method that is commercially acceptable, the electrolysis of water. Third method is commercial method is that is generally used for the production of hydrogen gases, electrolysis of water. What does it mean electrolysis of water? Electrolysis of water means dissociation of water molecule. Dissociation of water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen. Now this hydrogen gas here that is generated after dissociation can be used as fuel. Now next part in this topic is the use of hydrogen energy. How we can use hydrogen energy? In by using fuel cells. So here we have different applications. First, we can use hydrogen energy in electric cars. By using fuel cell, hydrogen energy can be used easily in electric cars. It can be used in hospitals, hospitals which are in remote areas, right? so as an alternate source of energy in emergency situations, hydrogen can be used to generate electricity. Next is portable fuel cells. Portable fuel cells means small fuel cells are there which are generally used to generate electricity with the help of hydrogen gas. So this is also the application. And last is the most important in military applications. In remote areas where there is no source of electricity or in emergency situations. Hydrogen fuel cells are generally used to generate electricity. So these are the uses. Now the, in this last part is the advantages of hydrogen fuel and disadvantages. So the advantages are hydrogen gas or hydrogen fuel is considered as cleanest fuel ever known on the earth. Because after the burning of the hydrogen fuel, 
देर इज नो जनरेशन ऑफ सीओ टू नो जनरेशन ऑफ ऑक्साइड ऑफ सल्फर नो जनरेशन ऑफ ऑक्साइड ऑफ नाइट्रोजन हाइड्रोजन को बर्न जब हम करते हैं तो उसके बाद जो हमें बाई प्रोडक्ट मिलते हैं उसमें ना कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड होती है ना ऑक्साइड ऑफ सल्फर होती है ना वहां पे ऑक्साइड ऑफ नाइट्रोजन होती है क्या मिलता है बाई प्रोडक्ट वी गेट वोटर मोलिक्यूल आफ्टर द बर्निंग ऑफ हाइड्रोजन वी गेट वोटर मोलिक्यूल सो दिस इज द क्लीनेस्ट फ्यूल नेक्स्ट इज रिनेबल सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी दिस इज ऑल्सो दस एंड हाई कैलोरिफिक वैल्यू सो ऑल दीज पॉइंट मेक्स हाइड्रोजन एज एड ऑल्टरनेट सोर्स ऑफ फ्यूचर एनर्जी डिसएडवांटेजेस है ना तो डिसएडवांटेजेस फर्स्ट इज द इट इज एन एक्सप्लोजिव गैस एक्सप्लोजिव फ्यूल एंड ड्यू टू द एक्सप्लोजिव फ्यूल और है ना एक्सप्लोजिव गैस इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू स्टोर एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट दिस फ्यूल सो दीज आर द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन फ्यूल दिस इज ऑल अबाउट टुडेज लेक्चर दैट इज हाइड्रोजन एनर्जी थैंक यू